the idea is uh, to show how we can make great inroads in alleviating global poverty without making demands on ourselves that are onerous and unrealistic by seeing how acting together rather than acting as isolated individuals would make it much easier to do what needs to be done. Part of my motive for writing the book was a kind of dissatisfaction with traditional approaches that philosophers have taken to these issues, which have been, on the one hand, to argue uh, either that we have very strong duties to almost impoverish ourselves in order to raise the, the level of the poor, or to have a, a, a somewhat almost less a fair view that, well, yeah, we should do some things, but it's kind of up to us what we do. And I've wanted to find a middle ground that doesn't, isn't too demanding and doesn't make unreasonable uh, demands on human psychology, because I think people are just you know, not, that, not that saintly, but also doesn't just let the problem go. And um, I think that what occurred to me is that, and this has occurred to other people too, a collective approach would make things much easier. That is, if we don't think, as many philosophers have done, think of this in terms of what we as private individuals should do, but think about what we could do together, that would make the demands much less demanding. It's much easier to reduce your carbon footprint if other people around you are doing it. So you think about uh, living in, how big a house do you need to live in? Do you need 3,000 square feet or could you do just as well at, with 1,500 square feet? If everybody around you lives in a smaller house, it would be much easier to live in a smaller house for status reasons among others, although status reasons aren't the only ones that we do what others around us do. So if we could collect, collectively ratcheting down our consumption is much easier than doing it all on your own for, for, for a whole variety of reasons. So I'm very interested in the extent to which well-being and deprivation are relative to what others around you have and how, how understanding that can make it easier for us to act to alleviate other people's poverty without demanding incredible saintliness or her heroism on our part. So I've always been interested in speaking to a wider audience and the issues I discuss in this book are, I think, you know, incredibly important. So I wanted to address a wider audience, but I also wanted to write a book that was philosophically tight and uh, careful. So finding that middle ground, uh, I mean, I like to think, you know, some people write in very broad brush strokes while others are, you know, finely um, focused on very tiny philosophical issues. Or, and I really wanted to do something in between, something that could speak to people and would be accessible to uh, non-philosophers, certainly possibly non-academics, but also would be paid attention to by philosophers.